Hello, good afternoon, students. Uh, in this session, now uh, we will be discussing about key answers of today's grand test. That is, grand test number seven. Uh, and uh, the first question is question number ninety-one. Which of the following a term includes all other terms? Classification, taxonomy, nomenclature. systematic the correct answer for question number 91 is systematic so basically how we can define a systematic it is a branch of biology which deals with the study of identification and nomenclature and classification of organisms so the correct answer is fourth option 92 select the mismatch of the following volvox o gamete type of reproduction yes it is correct eudorina lack an isogamy it is a wrong why eudorina it is a type of green algae and in a eudorina uh, you will get an isogamy type of reproduction that is male gamete is small and a female gamete is a large but here they have given a lack means absent so it is a wrong thallus with a stipe it is a dictyota yes it is correct it is an example for brown algae red algae it produce a keratin and it is hydrocolloidal substance means it is having water holding capacity so the answer for question number 92 is second option 93 ulfia ulfia is root less free floating hydrophyte yes we know that ulfia is one of the smallest plant smallest angiospermic plant and it is a aquatic plant and it is a freely floating in a water without having any roots yes first statement is correct now reason uh, the pollen grains in a gymnosperms is considered to be reduced to male gametophyte yes it is also correct so in case of angiosperm and a gymnosperm a reduced male gametophyte is called as a pollen grain but if you take algae bryophyte and dendrophyte their male Uh, spores are called as microspores but here particularly they are called as pollen grain here both the statements 1 and 2 are correct question number 93 first option question number 94 which of the following a class includes a microscopic photosynthetic organism see particularly you observe this phytoplankton so what are the phytoplankton they are microscopic they are microscopic uh photosynthetic organism phytoplankton means microscopic photosynthetic organism and they are chief producers they are main producer in case of aquatic ecosystem an example for this is diatom And you know that diatom belongs to the which class? It is the chrysophytes. The correct answer for question number ninety-four. It is chrysophyte. Question number ninety-five. Ribosomal factory of a cell. See, we know that ribosome is called as a protein factory. Ribosome is protein factory. since it involved in protein synthesis we call ribosome as uh, protein factory but this ribosome is mainly produced by nucleolus nucleolus don't forget nucleolus it mainly produce our rna ribosomal rna is produced by nucleolus this our rna plus 80 different types of proteins together form ribosome so it means uh, ribosomes are mainly produced by which cell or canal it is nucleolus hence ribosomal factory is nucleolus conjoint and open a type of vascular bundles are present in so what is the meaning of conjoint vascular bundle when a xylem and a phloem say for example if you take the transverse section of stem transverse section of dicot stem in a transverse section of a dicot stem what happens 
vascular bundles are arranged like a ring that you studied and the ring like arrangement of vascular bundle is the characteristic feature of dicot stem like this uh, vascular bundles are present now what is the speciality in case of dicot stem xylem and phloem they comes in a same radii when xylem and phloem suppose let me draw a clear vascular bundle this is a phloem and this is a xylem and when a xylem and a phloem they comes in a same radii it is called as a conjoint collateral and in between a phloem and a xylem there is cambium is present and this cambium shows that vascular bundle is open type of vascular bundle and conjoint collateral open type of a vascular bundle where they are present they are present in dicot stem even don't forget about this ring like arrangement of vascular bundle it is it present only in dicot stem question number 97 albumin cells albumin cells are present in dicots monocots gymnosperms or bryophyte the correct answer is gymnosperm because in a gymnosperm there will be no campanian cells instead of campanian cells what they are having they are having albumin cells Question number ninety-seven. Correct answer is third option. Ninety-eight. Eukaryotic biofertilizer. So here they have given uh, some of the example for biofertilizer. All are the biofertilizer. A cellatoria, glomus, nostoc, rhizobium. All are biofertilizer only. What is the meaning of biofertilizer? They increase soil fertility. All increase soil fertility, but they have particularly asked about eukaryote. Now you take a cellatoria. Cellatoria belongs to the cyanobacteria, blue green algae. So blue green algae are not uh, eukaryote; they are prokaryote. Glomus. What is the meaning of glomus? Glomus. It is one type of fungi. You can call it as mycorrhiza. Mycorrhiza example is glomus only, and it belongs to the fungi. And glomus are fungi. They belongs to eukaryotes. Nostoc. again it belongs to cyanobacteria it is prokaryote rhizobium it is a bacteria it, it also belongs to the prokaryote so here eukaryotic biofertilizer is fungi that is glomus identify the mismatch okay this question is from microbes in a human welfare chapter citric acid is produced by aspergillus niger yes it is correct aspergillus niger is a fungus that produce citric acid acetic acid is produced by acetobacter acetai yes it is also correct acetobacter acetai is a bacteria that produce acetic acid butyric acid is produced by clostridium falciniinum okay but it is wrong why it is wrong butyric acid is produced by clostridium butylicum here they have given falcinium falcinium is not correct answer so 99 correct answer or correct option is third one competitive inhibitor of succinic dehydrogenase enzyme this is succinic dehydrogenase enzyme is used in a krebs cycle okay and that this succinic dehydrogenase enzyme commonly binds with the succinic acid but sometime it instead of a binding with the succinic acid sometime it will binds with the malonate okay so this malonate is a structurally same as succinic acid structurally right any chemical that is structurally similar to the substrate of an enzyme that is called as a competitive inhibitor in case of this enzyme succinic dehydrogenase enzyme this is the competitive inhibitor so question number 100 correct answer is fourth option one not one they have given a two statements we have to select a correct statement statement one both facilitate diffusion and active transport are influenced by inhibitor so in order to understand this question you should know the types of or means of transport 
means of transport in plants means of transport in plants see there are three types of uh, uh, this transport means of transport one is diffusion second one is facilitated diffusion facilitated diffusion first one a diffusion second one facilitated diffusion and third one is uh, this active transport active transport these are the three types of a uh, transport that we uh, studied in a chapter transport in plants now what is the difference between uh, these three first one is passive process second one is also passive only means uh, both do not need energy but third one uh, need energy and the diffusion it do not need any carrier carrier molecule but facilitated diffusion and active transport both need a carriers protein carriers and third difference is here concentrated concentration gradient must be present diffusion always occur from high concentration to low concentration facilitated diffusion also occurs from high concentration to low concentration but active transport is there no it is against concentration gradient means it occurs from low concentration to high con high con concentration and similarity between uh, these two is right what is the similarity between a facilitated diffusion and active transport both need carriers protein carriers and these carrier they are a sen sensitive to the some of chemicals such chemicals are called as inhibitors yes first statement is correct now you see second statement the carrier protein involved in a, these two types of transport here two types of transport means what facilitated diffusion and active, active transport okay so in a, both cases the carriers are involved and they are sensitive to inhibitors that are react with the protein side chain yes both are correct so the correct answer is first option 101 correct answer is first option now let us discuss one or two so one or two what they have given when a cell is a flaccid when cell is a flaccid condition the following is incorrect see you should know what is the meaning of flaccid condition flaccid means a cell which has lost its water right water availability is very less so when a cell is having a least amount of water due to exosmosis that is called as a flaccid cell but when a cell is having a maximum water it is called as a turgid cell turgid cell now question is they have given a four statement regarding a flaccid cell we have to identify wrong statement turgor pressure is a zero yes it is absolutely correct because here no availability of water that's why turgor pressure is zero and turgor pressure wall pressure both are same please do remember both are same but in opposite in a direction both are same opposite in a direction when turgor pressure is zero naturally wall pressure is also zero yes correct pressure potential is also zero yes but water potential is zero they have given it is wrong why it is wrong water potential is zero it means there is a high amount of water high amount of pure water when maximum of pure water is present then only water potential will be zero that you studied in uh, first year syllabus that water potential will be zero which means it is having purest form okay this is a wrong statement one or two now let us see one or three how many of the following are required for the biosynthetic phase of photosynthesis so here this question is from photosynthesis in a photosynthesis what happens there are two uh, steps one is called as a light reaction light reaction and second one is called as a dark reaction dark reaction uh, and the light reaction is also called as a photochemical reaction dark reaction is called as a biosynthetic reaction uh, and uh, during light reaction what happens sunlight is absorbed water will split and nadp atps are produced and during dark reaction what happens carbon dioxide will converts 
into glucose molecule. Now, what they have asked you know, during a dark reaction, dark reaction is also called as biosynthetic phase. During this reaction, what are the requirement? ATP is required, yes, for Kelvin cycle, ATP is required. For Kelvin cycle, NADPH also required. Carbon dioxide also required because carbon dioxide only converts into glucose. And many of our students, they are thinking that water is not required for a dark reaction. But it is not correct, actually. For a dark, for a dark reaction or for a biosynthetic reaction also, water is required. Why it is required? Because a dark reaction occurs where it occurs in a stroma. In stroma, there are many enzymes. And that may any many enzymes and a stroma is a functional only in presence of water. Okay, so that's why correct answer is all of these four. So one or three. Yes, okay, Bilal, you are right. It is first option. Hundred and four. Question number one not four. Match the following with the reference to ATP synthesis through the chemiosmosis. This uh, chemiosmosis, or uh, another name, chemiosmotic hypothesis, you studied this uh, in uh, two chapters. So what are the two chapters that you studied? One photosynthesis and another one is the respiration. Right? So regarding that, they have asked a question. See, proton pump. So who will uh, pump a proton? Protons are pumped from stroma into the lumen of a thyroid with uh, the help of this plastoquinone. Don't forget, it is the plastoquinone. Right? And CF0, CF0 and CF1, they are the channels. Combinedly, they are called as the ATP synthase. Right? And what is the function of this CF0? CF0, it is a present in the membrane. It is also called as the base. It is called as the base. It is called as the head. Okay? When are the protons pass through this, ATP is synthesized. So, CF0 means membrane. Protein actually, it is completely membrane protein. So it will be B. Low pH. So during chemiosmosis, in a thylakoid, pH will be very, very high. Right? pH of high pH is present in lumen. Sorry, high low pH is present in lumen because there is a more number of protons. Protons are very high in a lumen. When protons number increases, pH also. Uh, pH decreases. So low pH means it will be lumen. And a low electrochemical potential gradient, it is present in stroma. It is present in stroma. So the correct answer for 104, correct answer is uh, first option. And if you are having any doubts, first let me finish all these things. Uh, once I finish all these things, I can solve your doubts. Please wait for that. Now, question number 105. Which complex of ETS facilitated diffusion of protons along the concentration gradient? So again, uh, this question is uh, regarding uh, electron transport system. In electron transport system, we studied that is a complex one, complex two, complex three, complex four, finally complex five. Right now, what they have asked, they have asked that out of these five complex, which complex is helpful for the diffusion of protons along the concentration gradient? Along the concentration gradient means from uh, this uh, matrix to the Intermembrane space and it is uh, done by complex of five. Complex of five is also called as the ATP synthase. And one not six. What is the untrue regarding anaerobic respiration? We know that anaerobic respiration it occurs in absence of it occurs in absence of oxygen where glucose where glucose partially break it break partially to become pyruvate and now this pyruvate either convert into pyruvate either convert into alcohol or it converts into lactic acid 
if a pyruvate converts into alcohol that is called as alcohol fermentation if a pyruvate converts into uh, lactic acid then it is called as lactic acid fermentation so this is about uh, anaerobic respiration now you just to see what is a wrong about uh, this anaerobic respiration given in uh, these four statements there is a partial breakdown of glucose yes it is correct why why we have to say it as partial breakdown because during anaerobic respiration when our glucose breaks you get only 2 atp in anaerobic respiration okay but in aerobic respiration what happens the total net gain of atp is 34 so that's why it is called as a partial breakdown first statement is correct net gain of atp is only 2 yes it is correct and it occurs in the cytoplasm yes and the mitochondria they have given listen mitochondria has no role in anaerobic respiration so here third statement is wrong nadh is oxidized to nad plus slowly yes it is also correct so question number 106 correct answer is third option question number 107 Which of the following is an example for a redifferentiation? One of the most asked doubt. So many students ask a doubt regarding this. There are three terms: differentiation, de-differentiation. First, you try to understand differentiation and de-differentiation. see what is the meaning of differentiation just imagine there is a meristematic cell meristematic cell you know that the property of meristematic cell is to divide when it divide it produces two daughter cells now this two newly produced daughter cell they either again divide or they may uh, stop dividing and perform a particular function so whenever any cell stop dividing and perform a particular function that is called as a differentiation so it is a differentiated okay so you got uh, the meaning of differentiation it means when a cell stop dividing stop showing meristematic property and uh, perform a particular function it is called as a differentiation then what is the meaning of de-differentiation now it is called as a mature cell mature cell or a differentiated cell or will be performing a particular function when this mature cell regain the capacity of dividing it is called as a de-differentiation okay so what is the meaning of de-differentiation naturally mature cell they want to divide but sometime under some circumstances they regain their capacity of division and they start to dividing that is what called as a de-differentiation when this mature cell divides more what new cells are produced they are called as re-differentiation re differentiation okay so here fellow done fellow chan vascular cambium in a dicot root inter fascicular cambium in a dicot stem so among all these which is the re differentiated cell it is the fellow term fellow chan it is de differentiated fellow chan it is de differentiated vascular cambium it is also de differentiated inter fascicular cambium it is also de differentiated but they have asked a re differentiation you can see in fellow term. So one or seven correct answer is uh, first option. Choose the incorrect match of mineral and nutrient and enzyme. Okay. Rubisco is activated by Mg plus two. Yes, it is correct. Iron is responsible for activation of enzyme called catalase. Catalase is present. Where it is present? It is present in peroxisomes. Peroxisomes. Yes, it is correct. Okay. and our zinc it activate alcohol dehydrogen yes it is correct but they have given copper it activate nitrate reductase no nitrate reductase is activated by molybdenum here they have given copper that's why it is the wrong one then question number 109 ribosomes are associated with so where ribosomes are present some ribosomes they are freely present in cytoplasm they are even present in chloroplast and 
mitochondria yes chloroplast and the mitochondria also having ribosomes and even they are present in a chloroplast mitochondria that is e 70s and they are also present in a nucleus so correct answer is 1 2 3 110 match the following so question number 110 they have given match the column type and we have to compare these two and we have to find out which is the correct protein synthesis and secretion protein synthesis and secretion is the function of rough endoplasmic reticulum this one b i mean a uh, in the glycolipid formation glycolipid formation who is a responsible for glycolipid formation Glycolipid formation, it is uh, done by this GC. GC means, what is the meaning of GC? Uh, Golgi complex. And uh, where do you find axonemes? Axonemes, they are present in a cilium and flagella. Axonemes, they are present in cilium and flagella. This will be C. And a hub, where is hub is present? Hub is uh, present in centriole. So here, the correct answer for this one is second option. And question number 111. Bitter guard and Batua varieties developed at Indian Agriculture Research Institute, New Delhi, are enriched in. So we know that there are some plant varieties which are rich in vitamin A, vitamin C, iron, and calcium. So they have given regarding bitter guard, Batua are varieties which are rich in C. There are totally four varieties. You can remember that four varieties as BBMT. BB mt so here bitter guard batua mustard tomato so this bb mt plant variety they are rich in vitamin c right so batua bitter guard mustard tomato they are rich in vitamin c correct answer is first option and what about a vitamin a rich plants that is pumpkin right carrot and a pumpkin they are rich in vitamin a Okay, and iron and calcium rich food that is the batua and spinach. Batua and spinach they are rich in iron and calcium, but here in question they have asked bitter guard and batua. Correct answer is first one. In a, which of the following plants dominant, independent, and free living sporophytic stage is present? Algae. In case of algae, which stage is dominant? It is the gametophyte at the same time do remember in algae there is a no sporophytic stage am i right in algae there is a no sporophytic stage at all so only gametophytic stage is present in bryophyte what happens again gametophytic only dominant gametophyte is a free living dominant photosynthetic then a seed producing plant see this angiosperm angiosperm and gymnosperm Angiospermine, gymnosperm, they are called as seed producing plant. And these two plants also called as spermatophyta. They are called as spermatophyta plants. And in case of spermatophyta plants, dominant stage is this sporophyte. So commonly, if you see any neem tree or say rose plant, if you see a rose plant, the plant, it is a sporophytic stage. But that a rose flower is there, no? It is a gametophytic stage, right? So that's why sporophytic stage is a dominant in uh, angiosperm and gymnosperm. They are commonly called as seed producing plants. So next question is 113. Internode elongation in a plant contains stilt root. So here a stilt root means indirectly they have asked about a sugarcane. Okay. So they have asked about a sugarcane plant. So in a sugarcane plant, internode elongation is done by which hormone or which uh, plant growth regulator. See, 2,4-D, 2,4-D means 2,4-dichlorophenoxyacetic acid. It is an example for auxin and it is used as a VD side. We decide it cannot be answered. Gibberlins, yes. So one of the best function of Gibberlin is internode elongation. That's why in our NCRT book, they have given that when you spray 
Giberlin to the sugarcane plant, they increase yield up to 20 tons per hectare. But here they have not given a sugarcane. Indirectly, they have given stilt roots. So stilt roots, they are present in sugarcane. That's why the correct answer is Giberlin. So the next question is, Question number 114. What are the genes used in analyzing a transformant called? I hope you know what is the meaning of a transformant, recombinant, and a non recombinant. So, if you take a plasmida PBR322, in a plasmida PBR322, ORI is present. What is the function of ORI? It initiates a replication. In addition to this, ROP is present. Right, a repressor of primer. So it produces proteins necessary for the replication. In addition to these two, our PBR322 also has having selectable markers. What are the two selectable markers that are present in uh, PBR322? One is ampicillin resistant gene, and another one is tetracycline resistant gene. Now, this uh, ampicillin resistant gene and the tetracycline resistant gene, they are helpful for the selection of uh, this recombinant or say transformant. So, the correct answer is second option. Question number 115 The term apocarpus is not applicable to. See what is the meaning of apocarpus? If all the carpels are fused, it is called as the apocarpus. I'm sorry, free. If all the carpels are free, it is called as the apocarpus. If all the carpels are fused, it is called as the syncarpus. And uh, what is the example for the apocarpus? P, lotus, rose, two and three. The correct answer is two and three. And students, how to remember this? Example for the apocarpus, all famous flower plants famous you know that there are some plants which are famous for their flowers what are those rose lotus mycelia mycelia champaka mycelia means uh, it's a something again so this rose lotus mycelia all plants are famous for their flowers and all are example for apocarpus right so here correct answer is both rose and lotus Yes, let me solve the doubt. Bilal is asking a DPD. DPD is zero for tarchid or a plasid cell. Api, in case of uh, tarchid cell, what happens? DPD is a zero. Okay. Why it is a zero in a uh, tarchid cell? Because in tarchid cell, uh, osmotic pressure and turgor pressure both become same. That's why in a tarchid cell, DPD is zero. DPD means a diffusion pressure deficit. Right. I hope uh, Bilal, you got an answer for that. Now, next question, 116. Mustard plant is not associated with these character. So they have given us some characters regarding a mustard plant. We have to select uh, the character which is not from mustard plant. Stamens of the pl same flower, different height. Yes, it is called. It is, yes, it is correct. It is called as the heterostyle. Heterostyle. So what is the speciality of this mustard? Mustard belongs to a family called as a Brassicaceae. And in a Brassicaceae, what happens? Or in a mustard, what happens? There are four stamens. And again, in a four stamens, two stamens are having a long style or long filament, right? And remaining two are having short filament. That is what called as a heterostyle. It is correct. Ovules develop on inner wall of the ovary or the peripheral part. Yes, it is also correct. Mustard is an example for parietal placentation. And in a parietal placentation, ovules develop on the inner wall or peripheral part of the ovary. Yes, it is correct. Alternate phyllotaxy, yes, it is also correct. They have alternate phyllotaxy, means arrangement of leaves is alternate type. Monocarpillary ovary, it is wrong. Why it is wrong? In case of mustard, there are two carpels. When two carpels are present, we should call it as bicarpillary. So that's why 116 correct answer, or which is the wrong statement about a mustard fourth option. 117. 
characters commonly shared by potato family and a lily family see potato it belongs to which family solanaceae and the lily belongs to which family liliaceae so in both cases what happens whether both they have one common character what is that placentation in both cases placentation is axial type they have axial type of placentation so correct answer for 117 is first option 118118 odd one of the following a modified stem see they have given four modified stem cucumber pumpkin watermelon uh, and colocasia we have to select odd one from this cucumber pumpkin and watermelon all are example for weak stem plant they are a weak stem plant and they are also called as a twinners twinners means uh, any plant with a, with a, along with a weak stem and in all the cases stem will be very very weak and it will produce a spring like structure this is spring like a structure are called as a tendril and what is the function of this tendril tendril helpful for the giving a mechanical support right so tendrils are present in a cucumber pumpkin watermelon not in colocasia in colocasia what happens stem is modified but stem is modified for the storage of food right that's why it is not correct you can answer in another way these three are example for aerial modification of stem aerial but it is underground modified stem in a which of the following a process complementary base pair rule doesn't exist yes it is the most asked doubt right so where complementary base pair is not present in replication in replication there will be complementary base pair correct in a transcription in a transcription also complementary base pair will be there in a reverse transcription also complementary base pair is there but in a translation there will be no complementary base pair what is the meaning of complementary base pair a denine of one strand pairs with the thymine of another strand guanine pairs with the a pairs with the adenine pairs with the thymine and guanine pairs with the cytosine but there is a no complementary base pair rule during translation how just imagine there is a mrna this is the mrna and this mrna is having coda okay this is having coda now according to this coda amino acids are brought by trna right methionine phenyl alanine like this so now these are the codons and these are the amino acid both are not complementary right so there is a no complementary between nucleotides of mrna and amino acids of protein so that's why correct answer is translation 119 correct answer is translation Question number one twenty. Work of a beetle and a tatum on a neurospora crassa proved that. Listen, it is one of the significant experiment. Experiment on this uh, neurospora crassa. It is a fungi. It is a fungi, and this fungi belongs to which class? Ascomycetes. It belongs to Ascomycetes. Okay. Now they conducted ex. They conducted experiment on this fungi, and they come to know one thing. What is that? every gene is responsible for a specific enzyme this a theory theory proposed by beedel and tatum it is also called as one gene one enzyme hypothesis what is a theory one gene one enzyme hypothesis who proposed this it was proposed by beedel and tatum even they got nobel prize okay the correct answer is third option which of the following is not a source of restriction endonuclease enzyme you know that restriction endonuclease enzyme they are commonly called as a molecular scissor molecular knife and their function is to cut dna and uh, there are nearly 900 restriction enzymes okay and uh, all the restriction enzymes are isolated from bacteria only but there are some bacteria from where you cannot isolate a restriction enzyme hemophilus influenzae 
this is a bacteria from this bacteria hind 2 uh, and hind 3 is isolated yes it is correct e coli from e coli which restriction enzyme is isolated e core 1 bacillus amylo liquefaciens it is b a m h 1 right so from bacillus amylo liquefaciens b a m h 1 is isolated what about agrobacterium? Agrobacterium from agrobacterium, no restriction enzyme is isolated. That's why answer is agrobacterium. Then what is the use of agrobacterium? Agrobacterium is used for transferring genes, desired gene into the plant cell. And it has a special type of a plasmid. What is the name of the plasmid? TI plasmid. And a TI stands for tumor inducing plasmid. And do remember among all the plasmid, largest plasmid is ti plasmid so question number 121 correct answer is third option 122 bt cotton what a bt stands for bacillus thuringiensis this bacillus thuringiensis is a bacteria from this bacteria cryogene is isolated cryogene or crystalline gene our Bt gene is isolated. This uh, Bt gene is inserted in a plant, cotton plant. Now this cotton plant is called as a Bt cotton. So Bt cotton is a genetically modified plant. Yes, it is correct. Bt plant, it is genetically modified plant. Yes, it is correct. It is insect resistant. Yes, it is correct. Bt cotton is a resistance to which insect? Bollworm. Second statement is also correct. It is a bacterial gene expressing system. Yes, it is also correct because Bt cotton is having a which gene? Cry gene or you can say Bt gene and this Bt gene is taken from a bacteria Bacillus thuringiensis. And fourth option they have given resistance to all pesticides. No, it is not correct. So 122, fourth option. 123. In Pencilium, special asexual structures produced in C. Pencilium belongs to which class? It is Ascomycetes. And Pencilium, it reproduces by Conidia, right? Suppose if, if you think it is a Pencilium, a Pencilium body is called as a Mycelia. This is a Mycelium. Now, this Mycelium produces a long chain of Conidia. Right. This is Econidia, right? And they are exogenous. Why they are called as exogenous? Because they are co not covered by any membrane. That's why they are called as exogenous. And very, very importantly, the long chain of Conidia is present on special mycelia. Name of that special mycelia is Conidio 4. It is Conidio 4. So the correct answer for 123 is Conidia. Endomembrane system consists of many cell organelles. Yes, endomembrane system contains cell organelles like endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, lysosomes. Right. So, endomembrane system consists of many cell organelles, and this cell organelle perform a different function. Which of the following of options are represent correct function of these cell organelles? In a simple manner, what they have asked, they have asked that about functions of endoplasmic reticulum, functions of Golgi complex, and function of lysosome. See, formation of a glycoprotein, yes, it is a function of endomembrane system. Formation of glycolipid, yes, it is correct. Cell plate formation, it is a bit controversial. See, cell plate formation is present in plant cell. In a plant cell, cell plate formation occurs. When it occurs, it occurs during the cell division time. And this cell plate is formed by a special structure called as a phragmoplast. There are some special structure called as a phragmoplast. These are phragmoplast produce a cell plate. And from where it comes, it comes from Golgi complex. So the, it is also correct. Storage of water is not correct. Detoxification, yes, it is correct. Golgi complex and endoplasmic reticulum, they do detoxification. and. Uh, Digestion, yes, it is also correct because lysosomes, they do digestion only. Aerobic respiration, aerobic respiration is not a function of the endomembrane system. So here, which are the not functions of endomembrane system? 
storage of water that is a d and aerobic respiration aerobic respiration is a function of mitochondria and photosynthesis they have given photosynthesis is also not a function so g i mean d g h are not functions of endomembrane system g d h s third option so third option is the correct right so these are the not functions of endomembrane system Perispermic seed is present in perisperm means you know that it is a persistent new cellless and uh, they are present in a black paper, bead, physalis and uh, both 1 and 2, fourth option 1 and 2. Which of the following has a false fruit, apple, strawberry, cashew, all of these correct answer is all of these. Seeds are non-endospermic in, seeds are commonly non-endospermic in pea plant. Okay. Now, if adenine is 120, cytosine is 120, then a piece of DNA will have how many nucleotides? See, if adenine is 120, definitely thymine will be 120. If guanine is 120, cytosine will be also 120. So if you add all these, you will get 480. Question number 127, correct answer is third option. 129, which of the genetic code does not follow unambiguous property? The correct answer is, G U G. Why answer is a G U G? First, you try to understand. First, you try to understand uh, what is the meaning of unambiguous. Unambiguous means you studied that one particular genetic code will code for one particular amino acid. Say A U G code for what? P methionine. U uh, U U code for phenylalanine. A G G code for arginine. Like this particular codon will code for particular amino acid. That is what called as a unambiguous. But problem with this one G U G. Why? GUG commonly code for valine, valine, but sometimes GUG also code for methionine. So same genetic code is coding for two different amino acids, then it is called as a ambiguity. It is not an unambiguous, it is an ambiguous. That's why correct answer is GUG. Then 130. In a slime mouse, dispersal of spores takes place by, we all know that it is by air current. Buccalo virus belongs to the genus. Buccalo virus, they are very best uh, bio control agent. Okay, they are narrow sp spectrum range and they belong to the nucleopolyheterovirus. 131, first option. Female sex organ in a chara is called anthridium, globule, archegonium, ogonium. See, anthridium, it is the male sex organ in the bryophytes and algae. Globule, it is the male sex organ in chara in chara male sex organ is called as a globule archegonium again it uh, comes under bryophyte and algae oogonium is the correct in a chara female sex organ is called as a oogonium another name for oogonium in a chara is nocule once again it is nocule globule is a male sex in chara nocule is female sex in the chara so this comes in our first year, first chapter, reproduction in organism. 133, identify the mismatch. Pinus mycorrhiza. Yes, it is correct. Pinus plant, they have association with the mycorrhiza. Spinopsida, dryopteris, they have given. No, it is wrong. Spinopsida is a one class of pteridophytes. An example for this is equisitum. Equisitum belongs to the spinopsida. Dryopteris belongs to teropsida. Teropsida. Red wood tree, scientific name is Sequoia. Sporophytic is a dioecious in cycles. Yes, the correct answer is second. Number of times of pass correlation occurs in Kelvin cycle. Many students, they, they have answered as a three. It is not three, it is two. Why? They have asked number of times pass correlation occurs. Only two times during Kelvin cycle there will be a step called as a regeneration. In a regeneration, two ATP are used. And uh, another is a phosphorylation. Phosphorylation. During phosphorylation also, one ATP is produced. Of course, three ATP are used, but they have not asked the total ATP. They have, they have asked about the number of times of phosphorylation. That is two. Last question. In a plant that produces both a chasmogamous and clistogamous, Flowers, oxalis, viola, comelina, it is all of this. 
so you need a question paper in the form of pdf form okay pa i will ask sir and i will uh, try to make a necessary arrangement so that you can get a pdf form of question paper so that is all about today's discussion thanks for joining madam